So at last, we will be comparing the COPD, CHF and pneumonia, which are often confused and often um, present in a similar way. So how to differentiate between all these three conditions? Uh, important things to note are fetal edema. So it is common with chronic CHF, but not seen in pneumonia and very rarely seen in COPD. So COPD patients who are advanced with corporal may have pedal edema, but uh, early COPD will not have pedal edema. Pedal edema occurs in COPD with corporal Smoking history may be there in COPD, but less common in pneumonia or CHF. PND, again, uh, it is important in cardiac patients, but it is not seen in pneumonia or uh, in COPD patient, there may be early morning awakening, but not immediately after sleeping or one to two hours after sleeping. Hemoptysis is pink for this putum, which is seen in acute pulmonary edema. It is not seen in pneumonia. It, there may be hemoptysis occasional uh, in COPD and pneumonia, but not very common. In necrotizing pneumonia, patient may have hemoptysis. In COPD, those patients who are having bronchial tests, they may have hemoptysis, but again, it is not very common. Sputum secretion can be there in all these three, but in CHF, the sputum is usually in thin and wide because it is uh, pink and frothy, mainly it is translated. But in COPD and asthma, it is thick. Wheezing, it is uh, frequent in COPD and asthma, but uh, occasionally in CHF, which have mainly crepes. And coughing can be there in all three, but it is more common in COPD or pneumonia. Onset, uh, often uh, CHF patients have orthopnea at night, so they will be giving typical history of breathlessness in night. COPD, often URI with cough, so uh, any infections may exhibit COPD patients. So they he will give he will be giving the history that uh, I had a long-standing breathlessness, which increased after some infection, fever or sore throat, um, and there is associated sputum production. Pneumonia, they may be gradual or also sudden onset, but there may be history of fever. Chest pain is pleuritic type. So pleuritic type chest pain is when the pain increases on deep inspiration or coughing. But in CHF, it may be substernal or crushing which increases in walking. So it is a cardiogenic chest pain, there is pleuritic chest pain. Uh, pneumonia also can have pleuritic chest pain if it is involving pleura, which is localized. Clubbing may be seen in COPD, but rare in all these three. Cyanosis may be there in COPD. Uh, CHF initially mild, but may progress. Pneumonia, it is uncommon to see cyanosis. Uh, if sinus is there, then definitely it is a very severe pneumonia. Diaphoresis may be present, but in CHF, it may be heavy. Pneumonia, it is uncommon to have diaphoresis. Pulse lip breathing is a characteristic sign of COPD. So what pulse lip breathing does is it increases the intraalveolar pressure, uh, which in, helps in alveolar recruitment. So it is characteristic finding in COPD patients. So uh, we read in our PG times, uh, pink puffers and blue bloaters. So pink puffers, they often, uh, those patients who are having emphysema predominant COPD, they often have pulse lip breathing to increase the uh, alveolar recruitment or alveolar opening and help in alveolar emptying. CHF, parsley breathing is rare and pneumonia also it is rare. So just to summarize, uh, pulmonary edema is a very important and common clinical entity. We should be aware about its presence and we should know how to diagnose, how to suspect this and how to approach and how to manage. Uh, thank you.